Okay, this is a part two that's not going to be a part two. We're going to talk about the extra things that you get when you pay the exorbitant fee of £6.50 or $6.50 a month for getting Navicasa. It gives you the remote access, it gives you security, it gives you all that stuff, but this is the extra things that you can get. So, let's roll the credits. <laughs> So what do you get with Nabucasa? Well, let's start with the easy one, which is backups. So if I go into settings, uh, system and backups, and I configure my backup settings, because I've got Nabucasa, I can now back up five gigabytes of data. Nice and safe somewhere secure they're definitely going to look after it it's only five gigabytes um, so you're not going to be able to back up all your media and all the other stuff that you kind of want but it's enough to get core of home assistant safe and secure so we'll add that and next time it backs up overnight it'll be there so five gigabytes a month it's not six pound fifty but it's quite good so that's thing number one Thing number two is voice assistance. So, um, Home Assistant has got its own voice assistant now, but the majority of people have still got Alexas and Google Assistant. So, to get it to work, you need Navicata, it automatically switches on. And what you need to do is you need to install the Home Assistant skill on Alexa or the Home Assistant Cloud with Avocasa on Google. So we'll just switch over to the phone and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is connect up an Echo. So I've got the Alexa app installed. Uh, on the Echo I've pressed the dot button and it's an Echo Flex, it's a little one. Then click on the plus, say a device, say an Amazon Echo, an Echo Dot. Is it plugged in and flashing orange? Yes. So I click continue, I want English, I'm going to say it's in Aylesbury, it's in the kitchen, let's go, right so we're all set up, so if I go into devices, I have an Echo Flex, I could add lights, plugs, cameras and all sorts of things. No, I don't want to add lights, plugs. So what I want to do now is add a skill. So I'm going to go to the home page. I'm going to go plus. That's not right. At least I don't think it is. No. Let's try clapping on see more yes yeah, search Alexa skills so the one I'm looking for is home assistant it's okay I've got lots to choose from but I want the one that says home assistant click enable to use Wrong 
amazonporpoise at gmail.com. So this is the Nabucasa information, which of course I can't remember the password. It's not saved on here. Let's go for, shoot for the moon as it said. Alexa, what's the temperature in the kitchen? Kitchen doesn't support that. No, I've not got the devices in the right place, but if we go to devices. Ah, I've just realised. So we're all set up. I'm being stupid now. So we've got Alexa set up. So we'll leave that for a second. Okay, so back into uh, Home Assistant in Settings, Home Assistant Cloud. We're all kind of set up here. So what we need to do is go to Voice Assistants. So Alexa is switched on. Have we enabled the skills? Now, do we want to enable all entities so every time we add a device uh, it'll go across to Alexa I'm gonna leave that one off for now because Alexa gets in a mess very very quickly I think if we click to exposed entities we've got none so these are all the things that I could add so I could find out all sorts of interesting stuff when the Sun sets and all sorts of things I want to be careful to what I add because otherwise it starts getting confusing. So I'm going to add um, this which kills barking dogs, uh, my temperature and humidity sensor and my message lamp, door sensor Yeah, I can add uh, the uh, SLZ Zigbee um, coordinator. I won't add the kitchen speaker because that will get it really confused. I'm going to add my temperature and humidity sensor. I think that'll do for now. Not sure what that happened there, but let's do that again. Right, so this is the way to do it. Go to expose and it will list out all the things that you've added. I click here it's on assist it's saying unsupported on Amazon Alexa that's probably because I pick one of the things these are all my devices so door sensor I want to add to Amazon Alexa I found contact sensor door from the home assistant skill to set up a routine triggered by contact sensor door, go to the device detail page in the Alexa app. I'll add my bulb. I found L2He279W from the home assistant skill, and you can control it by saying, turn off L2He279W. So I'm going to call it message bulb. Uh, let's 
to add the temperature and humidity. No, it won't let me add that one. It will let me add that one. I found T and H sensor temperature. Okay, so we've added all those things. They're in there and working. Okay, so we now need to go back to the Alexa app because it's found all those things. But the thing that's really annoying is it doesn't know where they are. Oh, click on the wrong thing. So if I go temperature and it says it's 19 degrees it's an A-Yord, it's a temperature sensor, it's all there the door sensor's closed so if I go to kitchen, that's my speaker I want to create a group so I want to create a room let's call it den this time so I want to add the door sensors and the light bulb And we'll also add my Echo Flex. Oh, okay. We'll skip the Echo Flex because it's in the kitchen. So the clever thing about that, now it knows where the rooms are, is if I go, Alexa, what's the temperature in the den? The den temperature is 19 degrees. Alexa, switch off the lights in the den. Okay. Okay, so we now need to do the same thing, but with Google Assistant, because there's nothing there. So I'm just gonna click in the same places. Google Assistant. Door Center. Google Assistant, Message Bulb, Google Assistant, Temperature Sensor, Google Assistant. So let's install Google Home. Open it. And then we're done.
I think I'm going to press search. These are all the things that Google supports. It'd be so much better if I knew my alphabet. A, F, G, we're getting close. Home Assistant Clown by Nobu Gassa. So going back to Google, they're all there and they're all in the places um, that are useful. So if I go, OK Google, What's the temperature in the kitchen? TH sensor temperature is currently 19.4 degrees. Alexa, is the door sensor open? A couple things share their name. Okay, that's it for today. Um, the video's getting on for 20 minutes. So I think that might be enough. I think I'm going to have to do um, a number three to cover the last thing I want to do, which is getting um, Alexa and Google to talk to you if you haven't got enough friends it's probably a good idea so if you could like and subscribe that would be great and I'll see you on the next one